2 billion British pounds. Just imagine how much you could buy, what you could do with 2 billion pounds. Maybe buy yourself a private island, invest in a football club, or just go crazy on all the expensive cars and houses. You could even travel to space. My point being that what if we gave one of the worst clubs in FIFA in terms of financial value and also in terms of their team quality, 2 billion pounds to spend. There are two different methods we can go about today. However, Salford City is our chosen club and we're gifting them with the ultimate Twitch live stream donation. Yes, I know the club already has rich investors, the class of 92. However, the Yammies are going to be the spotlight of today's experiment. We've arrived here in the fourth tier of English football with one job and one thing on our mind only. It is to give this club two billion pounds in League Two. It fits so perfectly. It's our first method. As you can see there in the transfer budget, the wage budget, astronomical numbers displayed on your screen right there. Two billion pounds with a one million pound wage budget. They could literally buy every single top class player in the world and their budget would still be intact. Our first method is to just completely leave it be. We're going to hop clubs and actually sign for another team and see if the AI actually register that they have two billion pounds and start spending it on players and improving their squad to reach the Premier League. We're off. We just came here for one day to deposit that load into the bank account and we've got a job offer from Barrow which we're just going to simulate through. Watch the behind the scenes transfer business antics hopefully play out because there is so much to improve in this team. If they want to make it to the promised land of the Premier League and start competing with the big boys. Even the media getting behind it, new owners have sparked a revolution at Salford City. Do the AI realize that and are they going to spend the money is the bigger question though. They are super rich to a godly extent. Swimming in cash right now, you'd expect them to at least spend big on a couple of players. Looking at the financial stats of this in our overview, the club worth is now valued at 2.6 billion pounds and they're projected to achieve 2.62 billion. All of a sudden, we have flipped the switch and Salford have become a financial powerhouse. The second method is only going to be executed once we have exercised all of our options. If our first method doesn't work, we're just going to have to go with giving them like straight up 900 million pounds. We'll have to do it through a couple of transfers, but it'll be worth it. Just overpaying for their players by a bizarre extent. That is our last resort. We're also going to be testing out this 2 billion pound project by placing Salford in the Premier League to see if their urgency to spend, survive and stay up in the top flight eventually affects their transfer market business. So there's multiple little methods we're putting through the ropes today. Listen, I need you all to subscribe to BCHD and help him reach 100,000 before 2021. Word is on the street, he is the best FIFA creator of all time. That's the word on the street. The B said so. One football are back with a brand new look. Overhauling the football news app we all know and love. Stay up to date with all the latest news, scores, and transfers the footballing world has to offer. You can even customize your viewing experience by following all the players and clubs your heart desires. If you're like me and support more than one team, this feature is a lifesaver. Make sure you download the app for free using my link in the description. Don't worry, it's available on Apple and Android so you can receive your footy news fix on the go 24-7. Get downloading people one football remember the name off to Barrow we go. Hopefully the summer transfer business commences and hopefully we can see the cash being splashed. All two billion of it. Now here's our current situation. We've simulated the deadline day throughout the summer transfer window. Let's check up on Salford City spending. After dropping off two billion pounds, they have spent literally less than 1% of it. The Lions are balling hard right here with 1.2 million pounds spent on Flores. Yes, you've heard that right. After getting a mad check of two billion dollars, they've gone balls to the wall to pick up Leo Nardo Flores, the Venezuelan left midfielder. I'm honestly so confused. I've never heard of this guy. Do they even know they have $2 billion in their transfer budget or are they just operating as normal? Where is all this money being spent? Because it's going somewhere and it's not transfer business. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's see. In January 2021, it's a new year. Is it going to be a new Salford with £2 billion? And no, they've actually opted not to spend any money and delve into the free agent, signing up Kayuko for £0. Johnny Kayuko, who looks happy to be at Salford but it's not the kind of signings and the world-class talent I was expecting the Lions to start going after. We're the sugar daddy in this scenario and they're just not bothering to use any of our cash we've provided them with. Pretty lackluster spending as they've arrived below expectations but hey, who knows? They might be saving up for something. They might be putting their investments elsewhere as they have grabbed a promotion playoff spot, finishing fourth in EFL League 2. With 77 points, they weren't too far away from automatic promotion so maybe they know more than us. Maybe they know what types of transfer 
transfer policy will guarantee them success. Let's check up on how they did in the promotion playoffs. And oh my goodness me, without any major investment whatsoever, without spending the bulk of their transfer budget, they have gained a promotion playoff final win. 2-1 against Carlisle United. And the Lions will be playing in League 1 next season. So it turns out they didn't need £2 billion. Pounds. They just bought their own... They bought literally bought two players, spending just over a million pounds, and that has guaranteed them success. It turns out the man they spent 1.2 million pounds on, Leonardo Flores, became one of their main protagonists in promotion. The Venezuelan with six goals and four assists in League 2, and that has shot the club up to the third tier. If someone can explain the madness we just witnessed, let me know down in the comments below. After we dropped them two bill, they didn't even spend close to two billion pounds. Don't worry though, don't fear, we've got some other methods to try out. Looks like it's time for plan B. Oh, right. There's a plan B, is there? It's just plan A was so brilliantly devised, I wouldn't have thought we'd need a plan B. ...to see and try to beat them into buying players. Could the AI and their transfer business become a well-renowned powerhouse of world football? Forget life in League One, it is Salford City fast-tracking their way to Premier League glory. Now, theoretically, logically, you'd think that they're going to be in a relegation scrap. They're going to be spending as most money possible to survive in this division. Well, at least that's what I'm thinking anyway, but Karimo can throw another curveball at us like it's done so many other times in the past. They've gone from the kids' pool to throwing them into the deep end of the Olympic size swimming pool. This time in the top flight, they have over two billion pounds to spend. So are they going to feel more responsibility to activate that financial muscle? In the meantime, we're off to manage Sheffield to view all the action from afar. Let's hope for some action anyway. Salford City, start spending. They've come to the end of a very long summer transfer window. So let's take a geese at their summer transfer business. And okay, they've bought two players this time instead of one. Still spending that same amount of cash, 1.2 million pounds as the Miami's have signed up Casabas and Guerrero. Their obsession with South American talent hidden gems continues as Ryan Cabezas, the Ecuadorian, joins us 23 years of age, not Premier League proven or Premier League quality. The Salford boss has seen fit a double swoop of Ecuadorian talent, this time a veteran, a 32-year-old Guerrero. Is that enough firepower and reinforcements to keep them up in the Premier League? Yeah, good luck, guys. You're probably bigger underdogs than Logan Paul against Floyd Mayweather. We provided them one more lifeline in January to get their shit sorted and it hasn't progressed as they've opted for another free January winter transfer. It's happened in League 2. Now history's repeating itself in the Premier League with the arrival of Schlick for a mighty zero pounds. It's either they're too afraid to actually spend their money or they're that stingy that they don't even want to spend at all. Now after the halfway stage sitting at the bottom of the Premier League table, you'd probably be thinking to themselves the board would want to reinforce the team and try get a second half of the season survival run together. But that isn't the case, the class of 92 and David Beckham don't even know what they're doing. After we gifted them the golden ticket on a golden platter, two billion pounds to go crazy with, they've only decided to spend 1.2 million pounds of it and therefore finish rock bottom of the Premier League with 14 points. Hey, at least they weren't Derby County back in the day, only scoring 11. They've still done enough not to break those kinds of records. It would have been a miracle to see the Minnows survive by bringing in just a ton of reinforcements in January, but it wasn't the case. Now this leaves us with one last option. One method that could potentially salvage this whole entire video. We said we're only going to use it if we become that desperate. And ladies and gentlemen, we have hit that stage where we're just begging for anything to work right now. So let's get involved into our third tactic. Here we are using our financial power to give Salford directly their cash. So on our transfer list, we've got a bunch of Salford players, a former United player in James Wilson. We're here to pay a pretty penny in installments. So we're meeting up and trying to give the most amount or the most expensive transfer in football history. This is going to break records for 999.999999 million pounds. I think that's worth it. Honestly, we've probably gotten ourselves a bargain there. James Wilson, come back to Old Trafford. We're about to unload our whole bank account on your ex-employers. It's good to know that Salford City have accepted that one. I was scared for a second they might have hesitated. Considering we can't go higher than a billion pounds, we're going to pay in two installments and that's for George Boyd, Prince Charming. We're also going to pay 999 million pounds. The max transfer amount for the now 34 year old Scotsman. I swear the Salford manager must think it's his lucky day right now. He is finessing these deals like no one else could and we're just willing to send him over every single penny this club is worth. It's happening people. Two billion pounds are going to be spent on these two Salford City boys. We might just be draining Man United for every single penny they're worth. Pretty similar to what the Glazers are doing in real life. Trust me, it's for experimental purposes and the class of 92. We've brought back the former United player James Wilson to Old Trafford 
happened and I couldn't be happier. The confirmation has been set in stone, 999 million pounds, one pound under from that a billion pound transfer fee. I honestly wish there wasn't a cap and we could have gone further and put in two billion pounds for a player. The game's gone, money's ruined in football, but we're doing it for the content purposes, there's no need to fear. Our work here is done, setting transfer records. We're going to simulate to the end of the season to see what has Salford City done with this money? Have they even spent any of it? With our third and final strategy, if this one doesn't work, we're done for. Or FIFA 21 Karimo just doesn't even make sense. Here's the conclusion of this season, June 2021. Now, it is the dreaded checkup on Salford. Have they gone and done it? Did they do the impossible? Have they spent any money? And uh, yeah, no, things are looking awfully familiar. To my knowledge, I can't even see any new signings whatsoever unless we keep Look at their defense and no, no real investments, no players being signed. It has just been stale and stagnant. Maybe we had to wait a couple more years, but I guess instantaneously, if you do just give a club two billion pounds off the bounce, they won't be spending it anytime soon. They did end up finishing first though in flying colors. So I don't know, that seems a bit sus. Finishing off as Centurions with automatic promotion to League One. Who knows if they really needed that two billion pounds. Anyways, lads, it was a strange one today. Career mode works in mysterious ways and we're still trying to delve through all the weird and wacky turns it takes us through. Make sure to let me know down below if you've done this before, what were your experiences, maybe if we simmed further into the future, maybe they'd actually spend some of that money as they progress through the leagues. I'm truly and utterly bamboozled. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to drop it a like down below, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, you know what to do, show your support. As always, I've been Sir BTHD, that has been Salford City with £2 billion and I'll catch you all in the very next video.